Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to shuffle the cards a little bit on camera here. Spirit, what are the messages for Sagittarius? What are the love messages for Sagittarius? For the month of February 2016. This is for my Sagittarius suns, my Sagittarius moons, and my Sagittarius risings. Sagittarius, you are the archer. The archers of the zodiac. Spirit, please show me the love messages for Sagittarius. Sagittarius sun, Sagittarius moon, and Sagittarius rising. Spirit, what are the love messages for Sagittarius? Sagittarius sun, Sagittarius moon, and Sagittarius rising. Do a couple more shuffles here. Messages for Sagittarius, Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, Sagittarius Rising. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles is coming up in reverse. Hmm. Cards are not wanting to be cooperative. Don't want to cooperate with me today. For Sagittarius spirit, I'm feeling a little bit better about that. Spirit, please show me the love messages for Sagittarius for the month of February. notice like you might not be able to see all the cards so I'm just gonna move them over okay and I am gonna do a rune casting on top of the cards here this is my little rune pouch I of Horus on it. The all knowing eye of Horus. Okay, so you have a rune on your crossing card and a rune like <clears throat> kind of pointing down towards your present situation. And then there's oh, and there's one more here. There's a rune on your near future card. So I'll be sure to take a look at that. And then the runes that are face down, those are the ones where I can't see the faces. There's two of those, and I'm going to put them back. The ones that I can't see the faces, those are the unknowns. Those are messages that we're not meant to know yet. And that's just the way that I practice my rune casting when I cast the runes. That's how I do it. Um, I read somewhere that the ancients people that used to read the, that read the runes, some of them didn't read the ones that were face down. Not everyone practices that. I've had people criticize me in the past about, you know, oh, you're supposed to read them. Well, I read the reversals and the uprights, but not the face down. Sorry. <laughs> everyone has their own way. Okay. So let's just remember there was a rune on your crossing card. I'm going to turn over the cards. You have the nine of pentacles in reverse. Crossed by the Two of Cups and reversed. Reverse? What do I keep saying reversed? Alright. What comes below you is the Queen of Swords. What comes above you is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Your near future, you have the Knight of Wands. 
I'm sorry, in your recent past, you have the Knight of Wands. Blah. In your near future, you have the Hangman with a little rune there. How you see yourself, you have death. This has been coming up for a lot of people. It's, it's a time of change, the new year. Uh, with Mercury and retrograde for most of the, the new, the for most of January, I, I said before my January, some of my mid-January forecasts that the new year probably won't, we won't start to see those changes come into effect until February. And so I feel like February is gonna be sort of the real new, be a lot of new beginnings happening in February. Um, just delayed since January because of Mercury and retrograde. How your significant other sees you, you have the Three of Cups or in your environment is the Three of Cups. Your hopes and fears are the Ace of Swords in reverse and your outcome is the Seven of Cups reversed. Okay, interesting cards, Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and talk about them. So I'm just going to move this off to the side so I can talk about your Sumter, Sumter card, which is uh, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This card does represent your present situation. So what I'm seeing Sagittarius is someone who has all of the comforts, all of the luxuries. They have food, water, shelter, possibly a pet, possibly um, everything they could ever wish for they have because we're talking about nine pentacles here. We're talking about we're nearing the end of that pentacle suit. The next would be 10 of pentacles if we're just talking about the minor arcana and not the core cards. So I see someone here, possibly a woman, if you are female. I, as I mentioned in previous uh, videos, I have a lot of female subscribers out there, so I wouldn't be surprised if I am speaking to a female right now. I see someone who has, like I said, all of the comforts, all of the wonderful luxuries, but they're missing someone to share those things with. Missing someone to share those things with, possibly feeling a little bit needy or a little bit lonely or just wanting companionship. Um, I also do get this card for someone that is financially dependent on another person. This is not always the case, but I often do see that. Um, and I don't make judgments because why would I? Why, why would I judge that? Um, so yeah, someone who may be dependent on someone else, not just financially, maybe even for emotional support or for their living arrangement. Well, it just depends. So again, if I am seeing someone here who is potentially single, actually, single and is looking for someone to share, to share their wealth with. Um, what is crossing you in February, Sagittarius, is the Two of Cups in reverse. And you do have a little rune here. We'll talk about the rune in a second. So your challenge is that current is is that in February you may be. Um, having some difficulty relating to someone that is very close to you. Because the way that I see it, the Two of Cups does talk about chemistry, attraction, that love at first sight. Um, well, not always love at first sight, but someone who's... I definitely see special moments being shared. I definitely see this is that passionate connection. Um, when it's reversed, Sagittarius, I feel like there's trouble relating to someone in that way. Um, maybe the chemistry is, is not there right now, or maybe it's not seeing eye to eye on something. So that is, that is your challenge. That is what's helping or hurting you in February. That energy of the Two of Cups in reverse. Now I do have a rune here, and the rune is Partho Future. And I do sometimes get Partho future talking about um, some kind of risk that's being taken or gambling um, and because it's falling on the two of cups it does represent some kind of partnership that's in disharmony <sighs> twos two people 
two people who are in disharmony um, with this in your future. Um, I feel like a future relationship is at stake for you. And because with the Nine of Pentacles in the present situation, I feel that you are somehow dependent on this person um, and it's making it difficult for you. Um, your, your challenge is to really relate to that person um, if you want them to stay in your life, um, if, if you want that person to um, I'm just getting the sense that there's a relationship or a coupling or an attraction that is in disharmony in February and the future of that relationship is it's going to be a challenge how to work through those conflicts. In the root situation in the root position you have the Queen of Swords. So this is what's what has brought you here? This is what has put you in this in this place. Um, the Queen of Swords is a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Man or woman. If it's a man, he would have uh, maybe a little bit wouldn't quite have uh, the f strong masculine energy of the King of Swords. It's not quite there, but. Um, Either way, I am seeing a female here. Uh, the female would be very logical, very fair. She will not mince her words. She speaks the truth. She's a good communicator. She's very witty. She'll get you there intellectually. She'll be very good with back and forth rapport. This is someone, though, who can take care of herself. Um, she might be a very independent person. So um, if you are feeling dependent on this person, it's highly likely that she um, would be the one that maybe you are not getting along with in the current situation. Or um, being that you uh, are a fire sign, I do see this as someone uh, who is not you. So. Um, if you are taking on the characteristics of the Queen of Swords, that would make you a good communicator. That would make you very fair, logical. Um, you might even be very sharp with your words. Um, you may not have that emotional connection that is needed to soften conversations. But I don't see that as being poorly aspected, so I don't feel like that that's the issue. Um, in the recent past, you have the Knight of Wands. I do feel that this is your energy, Sagittarius. Um, you being very passionate, um, positive and creative, um, having that fire energy. This is, a, this is you. You want to get things started. You're very creative. Um, you are ready to jump into things. Uh, you are maybe even a little bit impatient. Um, I do get passionate though, for sure. So, um, this is, uh, in the, in the weeks leading up to February, I feel that, that you are very much in your own energy or very much um, doing your thing, for sure. Um, what uh, you know to be true is the Ace of Pentacles. This is what you may be thinking or feeling in February. I feel as though you're thinking or feeling that there has been some sort of missed opportunity. I'm also getting that um, you're thinking or feeling that you're disconnected from your body or your sexuality somehow. There's kind of an ungrounded, ungrounded feeling that I get whenever I see this ace in reverse. And um, as an ace, it does hover above the entire reading, even though it's not upright. So there's definitely some grounding that needs to happen in February for you. Um, whether that's through meditation or connecting with nature again, getting out into nature, connecting with nature um, to help pull you back to earth, help you feel grounded. You do have a room coming up here. It's Alga's friendship and it's in reverse. And it's kind of floating or like, as I said, pointing down here. Um, I feel as though there was some sort of missed opportunity that you think that you missed out on. 
um, with a group of friends that left you feeling maybe lonely or may, or it's going to leave you feeling dependent on a relationship or maybe you're not seeing eye to eye with that person um, and that future relationship may be very important to you financially or <clears throat> you may rely on a rely on this person for uh, more than just friendship. Um, so therefore, your, <clears throat> your friendships may be at stake, one of your friendships, or maybe it's a group of friends that you are feeling um, a bit left out or dependent on for something, for some reason. In the near future, you have the hanged man and you do have Lagos healing in reverse. I'm going to make sure it is Lagos. Yeah, it's Lagos. So it seems as though in the middle of February with the strong Major Arcana card, you will be uh, challenged with a great deal of time on your hands where maybe things are on hold for you. And um, during that time, it looks like You're going to be healing from something or um, but with Lagos in reverse, I do feel like your challenge is to see things from a new perspective, um, but being that you're suspended like this, um, I feel as though things are on hold and so is your healing. So if this involves a, friend, a friendship or a partner, um, it looks like things are on hold for you and like maybe you just have to wait to see what happens next. Um, because with this energy of the hangman, it's, um, it's definitely, um, there's a spiritual nature to it because of this, the halo around the man's head, which does indicate thinking and mental energy. But at the same time, he's incapacitated because his feet are tied up. So, um, there's not much you can do when your hands and your feet are tied. Um, and it doesn't even look like, it looks like there needs to be healing that it's happening, but it's not happening for some reason. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. How you see yourself, you have the death card. So you see yourself as going through some major changes in February, Sagittarius. You may be leaving a job, you may be leaving a partner, you may be leaving a residence, um, you may be leaving an old way of life behind in order to make way for something new. And she is carrying the Reaper's Scythe, and the scythe is used to harvest um, all of the old wheat, the dead wheat um, from the shaft, and then that old wheat will lie fallow in the land so that new wheat can come forth. But in order for the new wheat to come forth, the old wheat has to be cut away. So in a sense, you see yourself cutting away all, excuse me, all of the old, all of the old um, ties, all of the old, um, the old, cutting away the old and making way for the new. That's a really simple way of thinking about it. However, this card is very strong in this position and in, in, in terms of how you see yourself. So I, I do, do expect some major transformation happening for you in February. Um, like I said, it could be a major life event or it could just be the way that you see yourself um, in terms of your life, where your life is going. How your significant other sees you um, or in your environment. Again, we have the Three of Cups, which does represent friendship, merriment, good times. They see you as um, getting a couple things. One, you could be in a love triangle situation where you're one of two people um, that create a three triad. Um, they may see you as someone that they share very good times with, that they can hang out with socially. Um, so I see high social factor here. Um, Overall, this is a great card and it does talk about love and friendship. So they very much see you as someone they can enjoy the pleasures of life with, um, have good times with, and hang out with. Your hopes and fears are the Ace of Swords reversed. So your fear is that 
you will not be able to cut away the old and make way for the new, but she would still be unfocused and unclear and possibly even confused about what you need to do in order to move to the next level. It's almost a sense that I feel that you're afraid of staying confused and not going in a new direction, moving in this new direction. But remember, this is just a fear. Uh, it won't actually come true. It's just something that you may, um, you may or may not be aware of that you're afraid of. Your outcome is the Seven of Cups reversed. So I see you um, being very practical about things and not having any illusions about uh, your path moving forward. Um, now this is a love reading for Sagittarius, so um, I'm prone to thinking that if you were caught up into some kind of fantasy or contemplating lots of different options in terms of who your partner might be or who you might be with, I feel like those options aren't necessarily real. Um, it seems like you're looking at things from a more realistic perspective. It's kind of like you've come back down to earth a little bit. Um, so it can also mean drowning in fantasy, which is sort of the opposite of what I just said. But normally when I see the Seven of Cups reverse, there's a real pragmatism. It's almost like there's an inability to imagine great possibilities for yourself. So in your love life, um, that fantasy and imagination, that ability to create different um, different roles for yourself, different scenarios, different fantasies, dreaming, daydreaming, that's not going to be there. It's going to be more practical. It's going to be more about um, what are you doing in reality? How are you behaving in reality? What is the real? What is the reality of the situation? So it's it's more about being realistic. Then um, it doesn't look like there are many options, uh, as or as many options as maybe you thought. Let's take a look at your oracle card. This is the Oracle Mermaid's deck by Lucy Cavendish. Spirit, please show us an overall Oracle message for Sagittarius for February. An overall message for Sagittarius for the month of February. Overall message for Sagittarius. for the month of February. Okay, and so the card that I pulled for you is Yearning. I remember getting this um, from one of the signs, one or two of the signs. I think it was Taurus. I got this card for Taurus, I think, in mid-January, for one of the mid-January readings. But anyway, um, that is card 40, and it says Yearning. Longing for someone, undesired separation, pining. Let's see, let me read you the meaning for this card. It's taking me a while to find that page. Yearning for someone you may not even have met. Yearning and pining for someone who you love and for the moment are separated from. You may be feeling a great gulf or distance open up between you and someone you love. 
This may be a physical distance or a distance due to beliefs and lifestyles. Yearning for a connection and a closeness that seems to be evading you at the moment. A longing for the one you love to be by your side. Not being able to bear another day of separation. Making choices that will enable you to be together. Feeling that destiny and fate are entwining your emotions and psyche with those of another soul. And that it is inevitable that you will be together. A feeling of meant to be. But until that can be so, a feeling of being star-crossed. Circumstances can be changed if both beings are willing. Longing to be with someone even beyond this lifetime and feeling discontent until it is so. Ah, so the picture definitely is getting a little bit clearer here. I feel that this Two of Cups reversed is definitely a separation um, that has taken place between you and someone else, possibly very close, you're very close to. It may be an undesired separation. You may be separated by distance and time. And I see that you are like kind of on hold here and things are just not healed for you. I feel like you're still healing or trying to heal from something. Um, also, it seems like maybe there was like some missed opportunity that was created Either that or, yeah, like something came up and, uh, in any event, you are definitely going through some major changes in February, um, Sagittarius, and, um, it looks like you are going to be faced with the reality of the situation, um, at the end of February, um, and it won't be like it was before where you have all these illusions and fantasies of what it can be. It's more realistic. It's more like um, one of you maybe has moved away. Just an example. One of you may have, may have moved away, moved a great distance. And um, it's just not possible for you to be together all the time or that connection is not there because of the distance or because one of you is very busy with things. I don't know. Just a possibility, but um, definitely this Oracle card resonates with the entire reading. I do see it. Um, but drop me a line. Let me know if you guys resonate with this reading, what you guys thought. Um, as always, thank you so much for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, your messages on the private readings you've allowed me to do. I'm very blessed to have you as my audience and uh, thank you for watching this uh, reading. I, I will see you guys uh, for the mid-month readings in February. So take care. Bye-bye.